Okay, so we're going to do the BioSurvivorate integration of the magnetic field inside an infinitely long solenoid. Uh, and it could either be with the current I going around n loops per unit length. So we can uh, treat that the same as if there's a surface current, uh, K, going in the same direction around the cylinder. Uh, so to start off with, of course, like our our uh, B and the biosurvive is mu naught over uh, four pi times the area of uh, the area of the uh, of the current of uh, K uh, cross R hat squared. K cross R, the direction of R hat over R squared uh, dA. And uh, so we're going to have two parts of the integration from, from our point inside the, the solenoid. And so the first is to the, to the area of the direction of the circumference. So the, this dA is going to be uh, effectively dz and uh, d, d phi, uh, where phi goes around goes around the cylinder. So if we start with that, we notice that this is always perpendicular to the radius. Uh, and then using our our rule for any point, and if our right hand rule, we see that the z the current flow goes up in, in all points times the current. So that integration becomes really easy. And uh, so it's just going to be mu naught or five, 4 pi. And we're going around the circle. So it's from 0 to 2 pi. And then uh, we have the, radi the radius uh, r. For, for how far we went around the circle. And uh, so again, like our k hat, our k to, to the b, we, we can see that that cross product, because of the direction, is just going to be uh, a constant of the magnitude of k. Um, and that's going to be, you know, have the, just the direction of the angular momentum. And uh, so that leaves us with the integration of going up the uh, and down. So instead, we're going to switch our bounds instead of doing z. We're going to measure theta to the point along the wire. And then once we do that, uh, of course, like our bounds, like instead of going dz, uh, so we have like 1 over r squared dl, where that's the length, because that, that's what we're left with. Um, and then, like this distance is cosine theta, and so then our L becomes part of that cosine theta, e theta, um, and that gives us a unit, a unit length. Right, and so the distance is, uh, and of course we only care about what is uh, perpendicular, like the z hat direction perpendicular, because whatever is from the other direction will balance from symmetry from the other part. Um, so this part here becomes cosine squared 
theta over s squared, uh, which is, you know, of course, our inner or s squared. And this part becomes s cosine squared theta. And you can immediately see there's a lot of canceling with that. And so then this is, of course, from theta 1 to theta 2, where theta 1 is going to be uh, negative uh, pi over 2 because we're going infinitely far and coming up. Uh, so if we take out our constants, like these two pi's are going to cancel. So that's 2 r like k. Yeah, like just this, this isn't uh, actually, it's the amount of k. Uh, so cosine squared, cosine squared cancels s as, as 1 over s, but we're not integrating with velocity to s. We can take that out, but that's going to be r and s are going to be the same, so we're left with mu naught over k, and the interval from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2 of cosine theta d theta. Uh, so taking this part only, that becomes sine theta evaluated at pi over 2, negative pi over 2, which of course this is negative 1, and that's 1, so it's 2, which will cross out of this last 2, and so that will leave us with B inside the solenoid of mu naught equals mu naught uh, K. Uh, every, everywhere inside the solenoid, which would be the same result that you would get uh, if you use the Ampere's law and the current loops. And so that's, that we did for the center. Right, and of course, if you as you get closer to the, if we move along the edge of this, right, the the top and bottom they'll still go infinitely far and are symmetrical; nothing changes. Uh, and you might say, well, the current could change, but this because we're getting closer to the wall here. But just like uh, with the electric field inside the charge, as we're getting closer to this, because we only care about the the radial distance, because the, everything is going to, you know, this distance, because these will balance as far as the producing z, and everything is going to produce a z hat out. Um, so you see that if we look at the tangents, this gets much closer to this, but there's more of the circle on this side which balances for the difference in that, you know, so this difference is obviously much greater. but. So it ends up evening out, and because of the r squared, r, the ratio of r squared. So the every place inside the solenoid, the B field is a uh, mu naught k. You know, uh, for and or this could be n i. You know, just the charge, the amount of uh, charge flow. Okay, so. I'm going to erase a bunch of this now. So if we say outside the sphere, uh, I think you know we can all agree that the that the theta part this is going to balance out and still go to infinite. So really, we're only going to care about the point here to the plane. That it's on. So if we put this point very far away, then these thetas become tangent, and we're only talking about the direction out. So, and the distances will become trivial, right? So it's obviously going to be no field, very very far away, because. This current and this current will produce fields in opposite direction. This current and this current will feel, produce fields in opposite direction. And this distance is so small, it's one over s. But actually, as we move closer, we'll see that there's a, a tangent line to these two parts of the field. So this part 
of the field of the circle is going to be producing a field in this in this direction. You know, it's in the correct direction. This part is it's going to see so from the midpoint these two these two sides obviously need to balance, but from the midpoint that this part will be producing a field in the opposite direction. Because if you look, the, the, the curve of this and the curve of this, the perpendicular component that are, you know, so that we're just looking at the x component, are in opposite directions with, with respect to this. For what, what the curl is to produce the, the field in the correct direction. Um, and so it's just like inside the, to a circle, these, these will nullify each other. Because this part will be closer, but it's a shorter amount and it's less tangent to it. There's only a small part that's actually tangent. Whereas this part, you can see there's a bigger part that's tangent. So if you say, if we get very close to the field, like the tangent lines become like this, and there's only a short arc, which is producing current in one direction. It's very close, but it's almost none of it is tangent. It is perpendicular to this, because this is very close to the tangency. Whereas this part, here balances that exactly, and this is true as long as this is the circle. And of course, this follows Hampton's law, which we would expect also. But if you if you look at the the integration of this, will equal that, but they'll be in opposite directions. All right, that's it.